Key points from the Johnny Depp v. Amber Heard court case Johnny Depp is suing ex-wife Amber Heard over a DV column she wrote for the Washington Post in 2018, even though it didn't mention him. Heard is countersuing for $100 million. Court resumes next week, with Amber expected to begin her testimony. In the latest evidence, court hears Amber had help writing the article. Who wrote the Washington Post op-ed? A quick recap. Amber Heard was announced as an American Civil Liberties Union UCLA, ambassador in December 2018, at the same time as her Washington Post article was published. The ACLU is also one of two organizations she pledged to donate her $7 million divorce settlement to. ACLU Chief Operating Officer Terence Doherty is answering questions about this, and is now being shown an email from a Jerry Johnson, who at the time worked in the union's communications department, asking for thoughts on Amber writing an op-ed on gender-based violence. This was sent before the article at the heart of this case was published. Why was the ACLU recommending Amber write on this subject? Mr. Doherty is asked by one of Depp's team. He says that as she had agreed to be an ambassador and work on women's rights issues, ideas were being generated for her to write an opinion column. If she feels comfortable she could interweave her personal story, the email says. Mr. Doherty is then shown a series of communications about the op-ed in which an ACLU staff member sends a draft. I try to gather your fire and rage and really interesting analysis and shape that into an op-ed form, she says in the email. Mr. Doherty says he took fire and rage to be about gender-based violence and not specifically Johnny Depp. Was it your understanding that it was the ACLU staff member who prepared the first draft of the op-ed? Mr. Doherty is asked. There's a slight pause before he replies, yes. Your lawyers should review this for the way I skirted around talking about your marriage, the emails say and also that they hope it doesn't put Amber in jeopardy because of the non-disclosure agreement she signed as part of her divorce. Doubts are cast over her pledge to donate her full $7 million divorce settlement to charity. How long does it take to pay a pledge? Questioning returns to Amber donating $3.5 million of her divorce settlement, half, to the American Civil Liberties Union, ACLU. Terence Doherty, the union's chief operating officer, is asked if the expectation was that the full amount would be paid in a lump sum. He says no, that they thought it was intended to be over a 10-year period, although this was never specifically confirmed. Mr. Doherty says he thinks this information came from an email from Elon Musk. He tells the court that $3.5 million was a pledge, and a pledge does not mean the full amount is paid all at once. The court was then shown a letter sent to Amber from the ACLU in September 2019, thanking her for her first $350,000 donation. Mr. Doherty confirms Amber had only, as Depp's lawyer puts it, donated $350,000 at this point in time. He is then shown a document entitled Pledge Form which confirms Heard's pledge for $3.5 million. The form shows a schedule for paying the donation in the $350,000 a year payment plan. Mr. Doherty says Amber never signed this form and neither did any of her representatives. He says he doesn't know why. He says there are other documents that point to her being aware this was a long-term commitment but he doesn't recall the actress agreeing to a 10-year schedule as set out like this. A security guard told the court what he witnessed in the aftermath of Depp severing his finger in cartoon-like injury. Johnny lost a finger. The court hears how security guard Malcolm Connolly traveled to many places with the former couple, including Australia in 2015. This is the infamous Australia trip that the court has already had so much about, during which Johnny Depp severed a finger. He was filming the fifth Pirates of the Caribbean film at the time. Amber has previously described this trip as a three-day hostage situation. Asked if anything stands out to him about the trip, Mr. Connolly replies, yeah. Johnny lost a finger. As he begins to speak about the incident, Mr. Connolly is reminded to focus on what he observed. He goes on to say he arrived at Depp's accommodation and noticed there was a security SUV outside with no driver. As he approached the door, he heard muffled shouting and screaming. When he opened it, it was chaos, he says, with screaming and shouting. He could only see Depp, who was nursing one hand. Amber was irate and Depp was shouting back. Mr. Connolly says he encouraged Depp to leave as that was his job to get him out of situations. When they got outside, Amber appeared from somewhere and screamed, F off, you fucking coward, at Depp. After getting Depp in the car, the actor left and went back and the screaming continued. 
Mr. Connolly eventually got him into the car and back to his own apartment. His finger was just a mess and like a cartoon, he tells the court. It's all flapping around. I could see bone. 